Hello. You know, when I was a kid, we were always going to places like this. When we were on holiday, we'd go to what we called in the UK, Crazy Golf. Mini golf in America, but crazy is the theme of this base race. So that's what I've built is a crazy golf course. That is crazy golf. And we don't use a ball in this one. We line ourselves up with a pig each. So here we go. Round the course, I'll take you for a round of golf. There's nine holes. Hole number one is called the Egg Man. And here he is. Look, these these pigs are just a little bit difficult to control at times. And certainly when you look at me in third person, I the pig seems to be facing completely the wrong way. So it's okay for me though. Right, we go right through the middle of Humpty Dumpty, and out of his ear, <laughs> and down into the hole. And that's the first hole done. Off to hole number two, which is. I believe it's called Home Fires. It's it's all a big fireplace. So we're going over here and we're going to sort of drop from above right down the chimney and come out of the fireplace. There we go. Away! Ow! And here we are. And after that it's quite simple. Another hole in one. Off to hole number three. I like this one. This one is called Blue Whale. And we go right up all of these steps on top. And there's the Blue Whale over there. See? With water coming out of his blowhole. And we go right up on top. Take a deep breath. And leap straight down through the blowhole and out of his mouth and into the hole. We're really setting a cracking pace now we're moving on and the next one you can see over there is the windmill this one's a bit different it's got two choices of route you can either go up there to the left and along there and jump down which is a bit quicker than this one that i'm taking but i've got I'm caring for my pig a little bit more than people who take them up there on that ramp because they do tend to take a knock or two as they come down and they might not make it to the end of the course. Right, let's see if we can fit through here. Okay. <laughs> Looks like I'm going completely backwards. Brilliant. You see I've dressed for the occasion as well, don't you? I'm still wearing my suave and classy gear even though I'm going on the crazy base race. Crazy golf course. Next hole is, I believe, the tree house. The tree house! Yes, there's the tree house there. The tree in the shape of Shirley Bassey, as they said in Shrek. But we go through the middle of the tree, the hollowed out tree. A quick jump across there, but the pig can make it. These are very well-trained pigs. And after that, it's fairly simple. You could just go up this ramp and into here. You can see some of the other bits of the course as you go around, but we'll come to all of them in time. One after the other, they take their turn. This next one, right. We should be in the desert, really. This is the Sphinx. And we aim at our pig right up this ramp here to fire the pig straight through the Sphinx's mouth. It's actually a ramp that you walk along. Pigs, the pigs aren't that, that good at flying. And then drop down and a simple job of into the hole. Well, we're, we're approaching the end now. We're in the second half of the course. This one you have to start from quite high up. You go all the way up these steps because, and you will see this, this is a Helter Skelter and we arrive right at the top of it. We go right to the very top. See that cake up there and that jukebox? <laughs> I'm not really telling you too much about all of the materials I've used to build everything. Please take it from me that I used all of the appropriate things. And you can watch the video again if you really want to go through and say, well, where did he use that orange terracotta or, or something like that? Yes, it's all in there somewhere. And all the appropriate quantities too. Okay, another hole completed. A little bit of a walk through this gap, this ravine, not a ravine really, gap in the hillside. Now I like this one. Here we have Dino DNA. And there she is, over there, Betty the Brontosaurus. Should it be Emily Brontosaurus? I don't know. But 
we call her Betty for now. And you, you skirt very closely around her, right close to her belly and her feet, and walk down that side over her tail and back down this side. And we are approaching the last hole now. Yeah, it's quite quick getting through nine holes of mini golf, crazy golf. Last one, the library. So we'll have to be silent as we go through here. Up the stairs inside. And at the top, there's the bookshelves and the cobwebs. And out we go. A final fly down to the last hole. And Piggy survived the whole thing. Now, before you get out, there's a little shop and a place to deposit your used pigs. So you go down here, drop off your your mount in here. You can't have many in here. I think the, the staff come past and um, pick them up and return them to the beginning. But any equipment goes in there. Ooh, forget about that little piece of meat that's there. I don't know where that came from. Someone probably had an accident. Thank you. Come again. We hope you enjoyed your game of Crazy Golf. And out we go onto the hillside to go home. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That is my crazy golf course, my build for the May base race. Bye-bye.